if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number four of the career mode RTG, the return to glory with Nottingham Forest. Now we're starting by approaching Liverpool to loan Joe Gomez. We don't necessarily have the funds available right now to bring in permanent signings in all of the positions that we're looking to strengthen in. The squad initially, well, the first team initially is pretty decent. However, the squad is not. We are after a variety of different players in a variety of different positions. Now, we've looked at, what, 50 different players so far in detail. And today we're having a look at actually offering some, uh, some money for them to see if we can actually get some of them to join us. Now we're looking at some on loan, those of which that are on perhaps lower wages, like four to, uh, to 10,000 pounds a week, we'll look to loan. And then those that are on say 15 plus thousand pounds a week, we'll look to buy, just to make sure we can maximize the amount of players that we can bring into the club. Now we're looking at players in pretty much every position other than in goal. At present, quite happy with Doran De or Doris De Vries, and if we have any money left over, we will look to bring in a goalkeeper. But right now, that is not my main point of concern. We're still waiting for offers for uh, the players we've got transfer listed. We've got two strikers, Matty Fry and Dexter Blackstock, on the transfer list, as well as uh, unwanted left-back Danny Fox. Now, as of yet, or as of this point in the video, we haven't had any transfer offers for them at this point. So we... Uh, I've been contemplating using some players, or well, some of them, as make weight for deals, but initially I want to kind of just utilise the free money that I have to ensure that we maintain squad numbers so we do have some players to call on if we have, say, for instance, an injury crisis, etc. But we are definitely looking for right-backs and we're offering for a number of them in today's episode. Nelson Semedo was very popular, but as you can see is also very expensive. He's on £30,000 a week wage-wise, understandably being at a, a club the size of Benfica. He's also valued at, at around about £6 million by the club. So we're not going to be able to bring him in for anything less than, say, four, really, I don't think. I started off low at two, as you saw, just to test the waters. You never know, you might get lucky. We have done in a previous series. We've just thrown in a random low bid and they've gone, yeah, sure, here you go, here's the player. I'm like, oh, great, thanks. Uh, unfortunately, that isn't going to work with Nelson Semedo this time around. We're looking at Loic Landre as well from the French leagues to uh, potentially fill the role we're looking at as centre-back, although there are preferable options like Tin Yedvai, although, again, he is highly valued by the club that he currently is uh, is at, at Bayer Leverkusen, although he can play centre-back and right-back. Now, Michael Mancien is a player we have currently that can play centre-back and right-back and CDM. So it is crucial that if we can, we get more players in that are versatile, similar to Tin Yedvai and um, and Michael Mancien. Now, Joe Gomez has been accepted. We now have a new rotation left-back. Uh, for now, I'm quite happy to keep Joe Gomez on loan and have he and Panios as my rotation left-backs. And if Danny Fox moves on, then all the better. And then we can look to bring in a more permanent left-back uh, perhaps in the future. Maybe even uh, we will try and make Joe Gomez's move permanent. That might be something we could do. We are also loaning in Maxwell Cornet from Lyon. So uh, we now have a new striker at the club as well. Obviously, we have... Uh, Tyler, oh, what's, his, what's his surname? Tyler Walker. We have Tyler Walker, Nelson Oliveira, who's on loan, and uh, and obviously Britta Sambolonga as our main three strikers. Now we've got Maxwell Cornet as well for decent rotation. We are currently playing two strikers up top as well, so it's crucial we have numbers. Uh, Chris O'Grady is currently on loan here as well. He was involved in the preseason games uh, in the last episode, but I really don't like him. We're trying to move on Matty Fryer. We're trying to move on Dexter Blackstock. We have another uh, striker, Velvike, out on loan currently as well. So uh, he can come back next season, perhaps, and replace the uh, then outgoing Cornet. Unless, of course, we really enjoy using Cornet, and we'll try and get him permanently as well. Uh, Dominic Ayorfa is a very solid right back, albeit a little bit pricey, but I'm willing to go up to around about £2 million for him. Joshua Brené is probably the favourable option of the two, the youngster from uh, PSV over the guy, the young Englishman from uh, Wolves. Uh, obviously, I've got Eorfa in the Leicester Twitch career mode as well, so I would like to try someone different. Currently rejecting loan offers for Ryan Gould. Uh, we did accept a previous one, though, for 
uh, Ali Adnan, who's joined us, and he too is very versatile. He's come in on loan for £15,000 a week, and uh, which is a little bit higher than I was hoping to, but he fills two roles. He can play out wide on the left and at left back. And also, to be fair, I could probably play him on the right-hand side as well. He's that good. So uh, I'm really pleased with the loan signing of Ali Adnan. He should be a fantastic squad player for us. Now, Sam Byram is very popular with everybody in the comment section of the th previous two or three videos. He and uh, Lewis Cook at Leeds are two of the most popular uh, options we've been given so far. Accidentally almost offered £8 million for him. Ended up offering £800,000 for him. That would have been a rather large mistake. But uh, he is, again, another player that can play in a multitude of positions. He can play on the right-hand side of midfield. He can play at right-back. And maybe that would mean that we wouldn't need to bring in uh, Eorfa or Brené because... Obviously, we would have uh, Sam Byron that could play at right back and right mid. And with Michael Mancian also able to play right back as well as centre back and centre mid, then um, we might not need an out and out right back. I am, though, obviously going to continue with the offers for as many players as possible just to keep my options open. You know, say one deal falls through, which intriguingly one will fall through in a little moment. You'll see. Lewis Cook, though, we're still trying to get a, a deal with Leeds for him. We do have a number of central midfielders at the club. However, we do currently have Liam Trotter on loan. I would be open to terminating his loan and sending him back. And we do have uh, Grant, who's on loan. He, uh, no, he's at our club and we're trying to loan him out. That's uh, that's all correct. And uh, we also have players, obviously, like uh, Andy Reid and David Vaughan, who are in their early 30s and not really going to be that effective. So I contemplate selling on David Vaughan. Andy Reid is a fan favourite of Forrest, so I wouldn't move him on, So as uh, as is the case with Britta Sambolonga, etc., and other players of that like. Uh, we're not really looking to move them on. I think I'd probably get slain if I moved on Andy Reid, to be honest, with the Forrest fans in the comments section. And you guys, the Forrest fans, were the reason why we're trying to sell Danny Fox as well. We all are looking, though, at uh, young Bascali as a centre-back. He does actually look quite promising, especially being so young. The offer for Dominic Iorfa has been accepted. Basically, every position is up for grabs, and we're just throwing so many bids in and potentially uh, moving some more people out as well. We do have Ebicilio on loan currently. I would like to bring him in permanently, but... He may be too expensive by the end of the year. He's too expensive for me now with the situation we're in. And this guy, Renato Sanchez, 17-year-old, 70 rated at Benfica as well, ironically, uh, as we're trying to look at a couple of players from Benfica like Nelson Semedo. And there was a, a winger as well whose name escapes me now. It began with a G. It was like Goncalves or something like that. He uh, is also at Benfica. But uh, this is our scout future star, a goalkeeper, which could come in handy. He's only five foot three right now at the age of 15. He may need to grow a little bit, but hopefully when he turns 16, he'll uh, be able to uh, join the first team squad. Hopefully he'll have a boost of overall rating as well. I can start training him. And he could be a uh, fantastic rotation option to Doris De Vries. And that would save me having to buy in a goalkeeper. Really keen on uh, Boscali there bringing him on. I think he's at, was it Lille? I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Uh, Sam Byram though still trying to work out a deal for him. But because he is so versatile, I don't mind paying a little bit extra. Again, still trying to work out deals with Dominic Iorfa. He was quite happy with the money we offered him. But he wanted a larger squad role, I believe was the, uh, the issue. Oh no, he wanted more money that time. And then I offered him that squad squad rotation role when you wanted a larger squad role. So uh, Renato Sanchez, offer's been accepted, offering him £10,000 a week plus squad rotation role. Lewis Cook, offer has now been accepted. He's got quite high potential as well and can play at uh, CDM and centre mid. So even if we do change formation to the 4-4-2 to say a 4-2-3-1 or a variant of the 4-3-3, he could play in both of those positions. And uh, again, it offer now accepted for Sam Byram. I'm trying to keep him down to £15,000 a week if I can. I'd rather not give him 20 k I am going to have to fiddle with my budget, I think, to uh, take some from the transfer and put it into the wages just to ensure we can get everybody in. As there, as you can see, offering you offer more wages and an increased squad roll. And uh, finally, we get an offer for one of the players we're trying to move on. Dexter Blackstock is on his way out, going to Birmingham City for £400,000. I wasn't going to risk losing that deal by trying to uh, bargain for an extra little bit. I just wanted to make sure that he left the club. So that's what we've done. Offering Renato Sanchez a larger squad roll as well. And uh, Boscali, it is... Uh, Lille, isn't it? That's Lille. That's the Lille badge, I think. I, on a, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. My brain is just absolutely letting me down here. But Lewis Cook, the transfer has been accepted. The contract has been accepted. But I'm stalling for now because uh, I would prefer 
the 17-year-old from Benfica. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that particular deal. But in the next episode, the promotion challenge will get underway with the first game of the season against Hull City. We've brought in Joe Gomez, really pleased with that left-back signing. We've brought in Ali Adnan, really pleased with that signing as well. We've brought in uh, Maxwell Cornet. All of these Practically every single person that we're looking at has been suggested by uh, you guys in the comment section. So uh, I'm pleased with the signings that you've offered me or the players that you've offered me. I'm delighted with the players we've brought in so far and there is still time and money to bring in even more. If we can move on, Matty Fryer as well, that'd be fantastic. Dexter Blackstock looks like he's going to go. Really keen on getting rid of Danny Fox as well. Uh, if we aren't able to move on some of those players, I may pull out of some of the bids we've had already confirmed and renegotiate offering, as my phone goes off, I apologise, uh, renegotiate offering some of the players that we don't want in part for those deals, which A, would save us a little bit of money and B, guarantee that those players leave the club because now we're starting to get strength in numbers. We just want to get rid of the surplus players we have at the club. So we're still in a massive turnaround phase and the, uh, the progression has begun and we'll find out how strong the side is in a championship game against quite tough opposition actually in Hull City in the next episode but for now that's going to bring today's video to a close thank you very much for watching drop the video a like if you enjoyed of course subscribe if you haven't already check the channel page for anything you may have missed whether it be this series the new Valencia career mode or the my player series and obviously all the links to my social media are on your screen and in the description to Twitter Instagram Facebook etc and to the Twitch channel and obviously to the merchandise store as well but for now eventually I will see you next time